Lindsay, we took a visit to Oakhurst Pharmacy this morning to see what vaccines they're distributing to, and also see if they've seen a high demand in COVID testing. Back in January, I took a visit to Oakhurst Pharmacy where the demand was high for COVID-19 testing, which dropped temporarily when vaccines rolled out. There was a drop in February and early March, and then it picked back up again. It really picked back up again a couple weeks ago around Easter and spring break as people started to travel. Now the pharmacy is balancing testing and distributing vaccines. The Johnson Johnson comes in a, um, a five-dose vial. I mean, there's five doses in each vial. And the Moderna vaccine comes in a 10-dose vial. D says he only got his first batch of vaccines about three weeks ago, which was right at the beginning of the Johnson & Johnson CDC haul. So as soon as the Johnson & Johnson did go into that pause mode, I reached out and then they sent me Moderna. But it was about a six or seven day gap there where I had no vaccine at all. So of course there was, there was no interest at all. As Johnson & Johnson got its start again this week, D says he's seen more people interested in the one dose. His goal each day is to serve at least 10 to 15 people in the community. So there's a lot of young people in this neighborhood, but what I have found is there's a lot of older geriatric people that are coming to me for the vaccine from other areas. People driving in, some from you know the outskirts of Charlotte, Even though there has been a dip in testing, he says that he does think more people will start walking through the doors once more people start to travel. Reporting live, Linnea Lewis, Fox 46.